Hello Virgo, welcome to my channel. My name is Isabel from the TarotEmpress.com. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading and it's going to be focused on your love life. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you would like to learn how to read tarot cards, you can visit the tarotempress.com and check out the courses and books available. For those of you that are unaware, there are yearly tarot card readings available. You can check out the links in the description box below. Okay, so Virgo, what I'm seeing is that there's someone that you have a great deal of love for. There's someone that you have a very deep connection to. This individual is somebody that you think a lot about. This is uh, the type of individual that brings you a sense of peace, brings you a sense of joy. They make you feel as if, you know, with them by your side, you can have and do anything you would like. It's a very comforting energy. It's all about you feeling invigorated by the connection. I feel like there's only one person that you feel this connection towards. It does feel as if, you know, you can't live without this individual. And you think of having, you know, a new opportunity with them. You think of making things work. You have a very strong attraction to them. And I also feel like, you know, when you think about this individual, you make a lot of plans inside of your head and they definitely mean a lot to you and someone that is very, very special to you. So very powerful, strong connection there. It's definitely something that uh, you're highly invested in. It's definitely a connection that uh, you can't really do without. Okay, so let's clarify these energies. There are some very strong feelings that you have for this individual, very, very strong feelings. You might find them very attractive. You might see them as your soulmate. They could be your soulmate. They could be this energy of connection with this individual that is through the roof. So let's have a look at the next card. I feel like there's a playfulness in terms of how you feel towards this individual. It's a beautiful energy. It's definitely an energy where you long for communicating with this person. You want to serenade them. You want to provide them with happiness and joy. You might have some romantic things that you would like to do with them, you know, go on romantic adventures, have fun. And I feel like you see this individual as a very adorable, very, um, you know, just someone that you want to be around all the time. It's that beautiful sort of energy, very innocent sort of energy. But I feel like right now you might be not talking to this individual as you would like to. I feel like you um, might be having a difficult time trying to get your message across. Maybe you can't see what they're up to or know what they're up to. And that could be making you feel a little bit uncomfortable. It could be making you feel like, um, you know, uh, the love that you have for them is being suppressed. The love that you have for this individual is being uh, denied, right? Yeah, I feel like it's on your mind right now to communicate to this individual, to be near to them, and you want to be around them as much as possible. But there's fears, there's insecurities, there's doubts, there's all sorts of energies that are centered around um, not knowing if you're good enough or not knowing if this relationship, if they feel the same way. There's also those fears that come up here, right? So 
In the past, I feel like you were just thinking and thinking about this individual. You spend every waking moment, uh, you know, wondering about them. And then someone may have left the situation. It could be you that left. It could be this individual that left. Maybe under certain circumstances, one individual chose to step away from the situation. Maybe they were not getting what they were hoping to get in this relationship. But you still feel this attraction towards them, as, you know, I can see from your energy alone. Now, I feel like... Um, you know, you're still trying to make plans here. You're still thinking of getting back together with them. I feel like you want to fight for this connection. You want to find a way to work things out. You might uh, see yourself wanting to be in a happily ever after relationship. But then, you know, it could also be that you're fearful of commitment. Maybe you were heartbroken in a previous relationship. Maybe they were heartbroken in a previous relationship. Or maybe they were heartbroken during the course of the situation. It could be either or, or you know, the energies combined. So do keep that in mind. But I feel like someone felt uh, hurt. Maybe they were putting in the effort to make things work and it wasn't working out like how they wanted it to. Let's look at the next energy. like there were a lot of disappointment someone was in their own sort of bubble here right you might have had a certain perception of this individual but they might have been hiding some sort of sadness inside of them that you had no idea was existing you might have been uh, dealing with some sort of emotion or they might have been dealing with some emotions that you were completely unaware of it does feel like a great deal of disappointment it feels like a great deal of um sadness it feels like someone feels as if they've missed their opportunity someone's in their own little world could be depression could be a sense of sadness could be feeling as if you know the situation didn't pan out like the way they wanted it to maybe they had certain desires maybe you had certain desires but i feel like through all of this your feelings for this individual is still pretty strong you haven't given up on them now i see that there's this energy of you trying to figure what's going on in the situation out. I feel like uh, you feel as if you don't have happiness in your current situation. There's still the object of your desire, but you feel like, you know, you need to take charge here. You need to take control because this individual is not making it easy for you. And one of the fears you do have right now is that, you know, you may not get an opportunity for reconciliation with this individual. You may not get an opportunity to come back together in a harmonious relationship as you would like to with this particular person. I feel like you can't let go of them. It feels like, you know, you want to make things happen. You want to do something. And I feel like you're willing to do anything to, uh, you know, get back together with this individual. And I feel like you want to open up your heart. And uh, there's this energy of you wanting to clear the air about certain things. That's something that's very important for you right now. So I feel like you still feel very enthusiastic that things can uh, work out for the two of you. I do feel like there's a very pure, genuine sort of love that you feel towards them. Now let's look at the next energy. This next energy is talking about how you've been wanting to have someone that was on your same level come into your life. You wanted someone that was as strong as you. You didn't want anybody that was weak or powerless or somebody that was helpless. You were looking for your equal in the situation. You were looking for somebody that uh, wanted the same things that you wanted. But I feel like there were issues getting in the way of that. There were issues that were blocking 
uh, the two of you from coming together. It feels as if someone either had trust issues or there were issues in this relationship. It just feels like that. I feel like someone is trying to make a run for it. And uh, they feel as if it's difficult to rebuild this relationship up. And I feel like this made you scramble a lot in the past. It made you feel uneasy. It made you feel as if you need to go in pursuit of this person, try to figure out what's going on. But also, I feel like you have a deep fear that things might be over, right? So that is something that's weighing on your mind. And I feel like you see this individual as very strong and independent. And you see that they have an amazing future ahead of them. And uh, you feel frustrated because you want to be a part of their world. You want to be there with them. But uh, they could have been the one that put an end to this uh, relationship, right? And um, I feel like someone is uh, carrying a sense of anger, right? I'm picking up anger. So I'm going to be exploring the balance of these energies on an extended reading. You can find the link in the description box below. Have a wonderful day and take care.